Raya Dunayevskaya, born Raya Spiegel Russian, Ra Spiegel May 1, 1910 to June 9, 1987, later Ray Spiegel, also known by the pseudonym Freddie Forrest, was the American founder of the philosophy of Marxist humanism in the United States. At one time Leon Trotsky's secretary, she later split with him and ultimately founded the organization News and Letters Committees and was its leader until her death. Biography. <inaudible> 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 Of Jewish descent, Dunayevskaya was born Raya Spiegel in today's Ukraine and emigrated to the United States her name changed to Ray Spiegel and joined the revolutionary movement in her childhood. Active in the American Communist Party youth organization, she was expelled at age 18 and thrown down a flight of stairs when she suggested that her local comrades should find out Trotsky's response to his expulsion from the Soviet Communist Party and the Comintern. By the following year she found a group of independent Trotskyists in Boston, led by Antoinette Buchholz Konikow, an advocate of birth control and legal abortion. In the 1930s, she adopted her mother's maiden name Dunayevskaya. Without getting permission from the U.S. Trotskyist organization, she went to Mexico in 1937 to serve as Leon Trotsky's Russian language secretary during his exile there. Having returned to Chicago in 1938 after the deaths of her father and brother, she broke with Trotsky in 1939 when he continued to maintain that the Soviet Union was a «worker's state» even after the Molotov–Ribbentrop Pact. She opposed any notion that workers should be asked to defend this «worker's state» allied with Nazi Germany in a world war. Along with theorists such as C. L. R. James, and later Tony Cliff, Dunayevskaya argued that the Soviet Union had become «state capitalist». Toward the end of her life, she stated that what she called, my real development, only began after her break with Trotsky. Her simultaneous study of the Russian economy and of Marx's early writings, later known as the Economic and Philosophical Manuscripts of 1844, led to her theory that not only was the USSR a state capitalist society, but that state capitalism was a new world stage. Much of her initial analysis was published in the New International in 1942-1943. In 1940, she was involved in the split in the Socialist Workers' Party that led to the formation of the Workers' Party WP, with which she shared an objection to Trotsky's characterization of the Soviet Union as a «degenerated workers' state». Within the WP, she formed the Johnson Forrest tendency alongside C. L. R. James she being «Freddie Forrest» and he «J. R. Johnson» named for their party cadre names. The tendency argued that the Soviet Union was state capitalist, while the WP majority maintained that it was bureaucratic collectivist. Differences within the WP steadily widened, and in 1947, after a brief period of independent existence during which they published a series of documents, the tendency returned to the ranks of the SWP. Their membership in the SWP was based on a shared insistence that there was a pre-revolutionary situation just around the corner, and the shared belief that a Leninist party must be in place to take advantage of the coming opportunities. By 1951, with the failure of their shared perspective to materialize, the tendency developed a theory that rejected Leninism and saw the workers as being spontaneously revolutionary. This was borne out for them by the 1949 U.S. miners' strike. In later years, they were to pay close attention to automation, especially in the automobile industry, which they came to see as paradigmatic of a new stage of capitalism. This led to the tendency leaving the SWP again to begin independent work. After more than a decade of developing the theory of state capitalism, Dunayevskaya continued her study of the Hegelian dialectic by taking on a task the Johnson Forrest tendency had set itself, exploring Hegel's philosophy of mind. In 1954 she initiated a decades-long correspondence with the critical theorist, Herbert Marcuse, in which the necessity and freedom dialectic in Hegel and Marx became a focal point of contention. Http skeptical smiley face, slash Marxist-humanist dialectics. blogspot.com slash 2018 slash 03 slash coming dash out dash in dash may dash necessity dash and dash freedom. Html she advanced an interpretation of Hegel's absolutes holding that they involved a a dual movement, a movement from practice that is itself a form of theory and a movement from theory reaching to philosophy. She considered these 1953 letters to be the philosophic moment from which the whole development of Marxist humanism flowed. In 1953 Dunayevskaya moved to Detroit, where she was to live until 1984. 
In 1954–1955 she and C.L.R. James engaged in a split. In 1955, she founded her own organization, News and Letters Committees, and a Marxist humanist newspaper, News and Letters, which remains in publication today. The newspaper covers women's struggles, the liberation of workers, people of color, gay, lesbian, bisexual and transsexual rights and the disability rights movement, while not separating that coverage from philosophical and theoretical articles. The organization split in 2008 to 9 and the US Marxist Humanists later to become the International Marxist Humanist Organization was formed. Dunayevskaya wrote what came to be known as her Trilogy of Revolution: Marxism and Freedom from 1776 until today, 1958, Philosophy and Revolution, 1973, and Rosa Luxemburg: Women's Liberation and Marx's Philosophy of Revolution, 1982. In addition, she selected and introduced a collection of writings, published in 1985, Women's Liberation and the Dialectics of Revolution. In the last year of her life she was working on a new book which she had tentatively titled, Dialectics of Organization and Philosophy, The Party and Forms of Organization Born Out of Spontaneity. Raya Dunayevskaya's speeches, letters, publications, notes, recordings and other items are located in the Walter P. Ruther Library at Wayne State University in Detroit. Microfilm copies of the collection are available from the WSU Archives of Labor and Urban Affairs. Guides to the collection are available from news and letters committees. Topic bibliography Topic Books Trilogy of Revolution Marxism and Freedom, from 1776 until today, 1958 2000. Humanity Books. ISBN 1-57392-819-4. Philosophy and Revolution, from Hegel to Sartre and from Marx to Mao. 3rd ed. 1989. Columbia University Press. ISBN 0-231-07061-6. Rosa Luxemburg, Women's Liberation, and Marx's Philosophy of Revolution, 1991. University of Illinois Press. ISBN 0-252-01838-9. Other Women's Liberation and the Dialectics of Revolution, Reaching for the Future, 1996. Wayne State University Press. ISBN 0-8143-2655-2. The Marxist Humanist Theory of State Capitalism, 1992. News and Letters Committee. ISBN 0-914441-30-2. The Power of Negativity, Selected Writings on the Dialectic in Hegel and Marx, 2002. Lexington Books. ISBN 0-7391-0266-4. Image topic articles The Shock of Recognition and the Philosophic Ambivalence of Lenin. Telos, No. 5 Spring 1970. New York, Telos Press. Topic introductions France Fanon, Soweto and American Black Thought by Lou Turner and John Allen, New Intrad, by Raya Dunayevskaya, New Expanded Edition, Chicago, News and Letters, 1986 topic Archives Raya Dunayevskaya Papers Walter P. Ruther Library, Detroit, Michigan. The first portion of the collection exists as organized and donated by Ms. Dunayevskaya and relates to the development of Marxist humanism. The second portion was donated after Ms. Dunayevskaya's death and relates her last writings and unfinished works. Documents range from 1924 to 1987. Some personal manuscripts, letters and pamphlets are held in the Mitchell Library, Glasgow, as part of the Harry McShane Collection. Topic. References Topic. Further reading Afferi, Janet. The Contribution of Raya Dunayevskaya, 1910–1987, A Study in Hegelian Marxist Feminism. Extramares 1 1, 1989. pp. 35–55. Anderson, Kevin, Chapter 8, from 1954 to today. Lefebvre, Coletti, Althusser, and Dunayevskaya. In Lenin, Hegel and Western Marxism, A Critical Study, University of Illinois Press, Urbana, 1995. Anderson, Kevin. Sources of Marxist Humanism, Fanon, Kosick, Dunayevskaya. Quarterly Journal of Ideology 10-4, 1986. pp. 15-29. Chicago Literary Review, Marxist Humanism, An Interview with Raya Dunayevskaya, Chicago Literary Review, March 15, 1985. Easton, Judith. 
Raya Dunayevskaya. Bulletin of the Hegel Society of Great Britain, 16, Autumn, Winter 1987. pp. 7 12. Gogol, Eugene, Raya Dunayevskaya, Philosopher of Marxist Humanism, Whipfanstock Publishers, Eugene, Oregon, 2003. Archived July 28, 2009, at the Wayback Machine. Greeman, Richard. Raya Dunayevskaya, Thinker, Fighter, Revolutionary. Against the Current, January, February 1988. Houdis, Peter. Workers as Reason, the Development of a New Relation of Worker and Intellectual in American Marxist Humanism. Historical Materialism 1-1-4, pp. 267-293. Jeannot, Thomas M. Dunayevskaya's Conception of Ultimate Reality and Meaning. Ultimate Reality and Meaning 2-2-4, December 1999 pp. 276–293. Kellner, Douglas. A Comment on the dunayevskaya marcuse Dialogue. Quarterly Journal of Ideology 1-3-4, 1989. p. 29. Leblanc, Paul. The Philosophy and Politics of Freedom. Monthly Review 5-4-8-1. Moon, Terry. Dunayevskaya, Raya. In Women Building Chicago 1790-1990, A Biographical Dictionary, Bloomington, Indiana University Press, 2001. pp. 238-241. Rich, Adrian. Living the Revolution. Women's Review of Books 3 -2, September 1986. Rockwell, Russell. Hegel and Social Theory in Critical Theory and Marxist Humanism. International Journal of Philosophy 3-2-1, 2003. Rockwell, Russell, Hegel, Marx, and the Necessity and Freedom Dialectic, Marxist Humanism and Critical Theory in the United States. Palgrave Macmillan, 2018. HTTP colon slash slash Marxist dash humanist dialectics dot blogspot dot com slash twenty eighteen slash oh three slash coming dash out dash in dash may dash necessity dash and dash freedom dot html Schultz, Rima Lunin and Adele Hast. Introduction. In Women Building Chicago 1790-1990, Bloomington, Indiana University Press, 2001. Topic. External links Biography News and Letters Newspaper Raya Dunayevskaya Collection at Walter Ruther Library, Wayne State University Archive at Struggle. Net Libertarian Communist Library Raya Dunayevskaya Holdings Marxists Internet Archive Raya Dunayevskaya Archive Marxist Humanist Dialectics International Marxist Humanist Organization Marxist Humanist Initiative